Hey guys, Ryan Mayfield here. And uh, today I just wanted to do a quick video and introduce and show you some of the key features to the new ProTech Samurai RM Edition engine. This is something I'm uh, very excited about. Uh, right when I went to ProTech and started working with Chad Bradley, uh, I knew right away that you know these guys were serious about racing and they want to do whatever it takes to make their stuff the best possible. So their Samurai engine that I ran last year was awesome. Um, there was a couple things that I wanted to be adjusted and we kind of discussed maybe doing uh, RM Edition engine. So this engine is, uh, you know, very similar to the engine that was on the market from them in the past uh, with just a couple key changes. Um, and those changes are really uh, just to make the engine uh, easier for the end user and uh, hopefully last a lot longer than um, some engines do. So um, just wanted to kind of go over this with you guys and uh, show you all the, the cool stuff. So first you can start, we're gonna start here with the engine in the box. You know, when you get this engine, uh, this is the box it comes in, which is cool. It's a wood box, uh, same, same box that their Samurai engine came in in the past. And it's kind of unique. Most engines just come in a cardboard box. So this thing has some uh, nice details to it and it's wood, so it's reusable. Put whatever you want in it. If you want to use it for something after this engine um, or just leave it on the shelf, looks kind of cool. So as you open this, this up, um, first thing that pops out is a little card. Um, just kind of, uh, I don't know, making me sound cool, I guess. Cool card there. This engine was broken in by Adam. So if you get an engine from a main, um, it'll come with some of the, the detailed um, break-in procedures that Adam recommends after he does his break-in service, which is nice. Um, if you follow them um, the way he's described, you should have an awesome experience uh, with zero issues. Next is this nice, uh, air-filled envelope, which most people who have bought an engine, they all come with this, keeps it protected. The engine does come with two carburetor inserts, Venturi's, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it comes with a six and a six and a half, um, which is nice. Comes with all the rubber plugs to keep the engine protected and clean, keep dust out of them. And it does come with the gold uh, P3 OS plug, which is a nice, nice addition. Boom, there it is. This thing looks good. I'm very happy with uh, the way this thing turned out looks wise and performance wise. Uh, the head has a nice polished sides on the fins, which looks like jewelry. Um, the blue turned out great. I think it matches my blue in my paint pretty well. Um, so yeah, overall, this thing is a very nice piece and uh, it's nice to look at and it performs just as well as it looks. So um, very happy, very excited with the way this turned out and uh, I'm uh, hopefully see you guys running these things soon. And uh, I hope your experience with them is as good as mine has been. I have ran them a few times this year. Um, I ran the pre-production version of this at SIC, had some success there. Ran it at DNC and at the Nationals. Um, and they've worked great at uh, every track. Three completely different tracks, um, completely different set of weather conditions. And they performed uh, basically the same in all three scenarios. So yeah, very, uh, very reassuring. It's nice to go from place to place and know that you're going to have the power, the runtime, the, you know, the reliability to get through and have a good weekend. So I do have an engine taken apart down here. Um, kind of go through some of the, the more technical side of this engine. So one thing that, uh, I was very, uh, key to was I wanted the correct carburetor on this engine. So um, I asked if we could do the 21J carburetor, which is Old Faithful. This carburetor has been around for a long time and it works everywhere. It makes power everywhere. It holds its tune uh, very well. I go from track to track and the tune of the engine is maybe an hour or two on top end. So very good, very reliable carburetor. And I was excited to know that we could get this on this engine. So. Very happy with that. The next thing is the back plate. The back plate has a steel plate in it now um, to protect the conrod from scratching 
or chunking the back plate. So this happened to me a few years ago at the Nationals. And I'll show you here. This is a standard back plate that's been ran. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see there's a lot of rub marks. And so this new back plate will prevent this. So at the Nationals a few years ago, I had this happen. The rod made contact with the back plate, took a nice chunk out of it, and sent the metal up into the piston and sleeve, seized the engine. Happened in the semi final at the Nationals, and my weekend was over. So um, OS has made this adjustment, and we were uh, thankful to get it on this engine. So no more worries about that Conrod making contact with this. If it does, it's not going to do any damage. Um, it's a smoother surface, so it also equals some more RPM. So more power, better for everybody. The next thing is an O-ring sealed head button here. Keeps out any dirt and dust, debris, anything from getting in there. I've ran engines in the past without this, and you'd be surprised. These things are pressed down there pretty good with the head screws, and dust and dirt will still get in there. This O-ring pre prevents that, so a good addition. This is a the same bore and stroke as the old Spec 2. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the Spec 2, old faithful OS engine that was around for a long time. And some of the issues people had with that engine um, was maybe they it had too much bottom end, not enough mid-range, not enough top end, but the reliability was phenomenal. So they've made an we've made an adjustment. OS made an adjustment to this bore and stroke by adding a second tungsten slug into the crank. So this smooths out your bottom end, adds that mid-range torque you're looking for, and in the same, you get a little more top end. So um, great addition, makes the power band a little more smooth, a little more fluid, and the engine still makes plenty of power for buggy and truck, but this will help in you know a lot of the smaller tracks, loose tracks, um, prevents a lot of wheel spin, and it still makes a ton of power for all the big tracks out there as well. So, and obviously in any quality race engine, it comes with a ceramic rear bearing. Um, this is key to the life of your engine and uh, also how, you know, free everything spins and um, just a, a lot better performing bearing over steel should last, you know, last a lot longer. The ceramic balls are going to resist uh, rust a lot better than a typical steel bearing. So again, this engine has all the cool stuff in it. It's a full-blown race motor, and so far, it's been very successful. The whole uh, ProTech team's been running it. Myself, Spencer Eckert, Tanner Denny, um, CJ Jellen, and uh, we've uh, we've done well. The couple guys, we were all a few of us were in the A mains at DNC. A couple guys made the mains at the Nationals with this engine. So um, so far, it's been really good, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it out in the market and uh, seeing what the customers have to say. So um, I will be able to do some uh, support with this engine while I'm at these events. Uh, I will bring bearings with me and I can help with tune um, and small, small, you know, small stuff like that. But if you ever need anything done, please hit up Adam Drake. Um, you can buy these engines from A-Main Hobbies, um, already broken in by Adam, which is awesome. You can also buy them not broken in if you want to do it yourself. And if you ever need any sort of major engine service, uh, new piston sleeves, get them broken in, pinched, whatever, Adam Drake's your guy. So um, hit him up if you need anything. He does service these engines as, as, as well as every engine. Um, he does do my engines as well. So I definitely recommend his services. And um, thanks for watching. I'm excited about this. Um, next race is PMB. And we'll... Uh, Hopefully see you guys running these things. Talk to you soon. Bye.